I mean, you just said uh, we have a, a global sovereign outlook that's negative and uh, this informs our view on European sovereigns as well. So there are some concerns that relate to trade tensions, lower growth um, that then translates into the European environment. And we also see that uh, there are risks that coming from the political sphere, uh, political risk, a more fragmented uh, political landscape in, in quite a few uh, European countries, but also at the euro area level where it's, it's difficult to find contents, consensus on, on key European projects looking forward. What was interesting in your report was around digital technologies because we've been debating whether we get a little bit more inflation and what economies look like with the transformation that it takes place on the digital side. And one point that you've got is that digital technologies can enhance economic strength for those best able to adopt and adapt. Just give us a sense of which European countries might fit that build. Yeah, I mean, there are a, a, a few European countries that are well positioned in that sense. I mean, Ireland comes first here with uh, a strong presence in di digital technologies. But overall, uh, I mean, uh, the observation is that uh, the European economic growth model, which is pretty much uh, based on, uh, on global trade, but also a lot on uh, manufacturing, car industry, capital equipment, machinery, and uh, it's to be seen to what extent uh, uh, these uh, corporations are able to uh, implement digital technologies into their growth model. Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's an obvious trend at the moment that when you look at uh, the most advanced digital technologies like uh, AI, for instance, that uh, uh, European is to some extent struggling there to keep the pace that uh, is given by the US on the one hand and China on the other hand. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.